There are several new options for editing and creating curves. These include the ability to quickly insert and edit multiple fillets within a composite curve containing lines and arcs. An improved and more accurate method of editing the tangency and magnitude of points within a Bezier curve and finally the ability to repoint curves. So let's have a look at these new functions in a little bit more detail. So here we have on the screen a single pattern with multiple segments. So I'm going to go into the curve editor and the first new function we're going to look at within the curve editor is the ability to insert and edit fillets within a composite curve. Now at the moment this what appears to be a closed profile is actually made up of a series of individual lines and arcs. So b before we can actually insert and edit fillets we need to convert this into a composite curve. So we simply select it and merge the selected segments into a single curve and this is a single curve made up of arcs and lines. So now when we select the curve you can see the insert and edit fillets command becomes available. If this curve contained lines, arcs and maybe Bezier spans then this would not be editable using the insert and edit fillets command. But because it only contains lines and arcs we can come into insert and edit fillets and by default the command works on existing fillets within the profile and discontinuities. So if I change this to say 15 you will notice that all discontinuities have been filleted plus the existing radius fillets have been modified to 15. Okay so sharp corners and existing fillets are modified. If I want to keep the original radiuses within the curve then I simply select the discontinuities option and only the sharp corners will be filleted. Let's just change that to say 30. And finally if I only want to choose one or two corners or one or two fillets to modify then I simply go back to selected and just click on whichever corner I want including sharp corners and fillets. Let's make that smaller so we can see. It. Let's make that six. And select this one, maybe make that six or that one. And I can hold down the shift key and select as many as I want. Like so. Let's change that back to all discontinuities and just finish off by putting a 40 mil radius and then apply and close. Okay, so that's the first of the new functions. The second new function within the curve editor is the improved Bezier uh, tangent editor. So this works on the points within a, a Bezier curve. So if I select a point you can see that the option becomes available, edit the tangents. In previous versions of PowerMill uh, we could edit the tangents by graphically dragging and dynamically moving the control points. However, this was, this was not an accurate, precise way of editing, editing the tangent magnitude. So let's undo that and get back to the original shape and select the point again. Now we have a, a form very similar to the form that you will see in PowerShape where we can edit the tangent before and after the point and also the magnitude before and after the point. So for example we can simply scale the magnitude if we wanted to or specify a specific scale such as 2 so double the magnitude 
and then we'll just set that back to three. Likewise with the actual tangency direction, uh, we can use one of several options. We can straighten the tangency, for example. Let's just free that back again. Or we can specify an azimuth and elevation. Let's change the azimuth to 45 degrees. Example. Let's just cancel that. Or even specify an IJK value based upon um, a workspace. If we want to do more than one point at the same time, we can do that by simply shift selecting multiple points and then we can straighten all those points in one go. So that's the uh, improved tangency editor. The final new function within the curve editor we're going to look at is the repoint curve option. At the moment, this curve is defined as a series of lines and arcs. Now, the repoint curve function only works on Bezier curves. So you can see, even though I've selected the curve, the repoint curve function is grayed out. If I wanted to edit this curve, uh, edit the points in this curve, I would have to convert it into a Bezier curve or edit it as a Bezier curve. There is a new option when we right click on the segment that says edit as Bezier curve. Now I have access to the repoint command. So you can see the default number of points is six, so it's actually repointed the curve to have six points. Uh, and because by default it doesn't maintain discontinuities, you can see the shape has changed quite dramatically. If I click on this option to select discontinuities, it will automatically find all the discontinuities and make sure um, those points are kept and it will repoint in between. So obviously there's still not enough points to hold the shape so let's increase that to say 20 tab and that gives me a much more accurate comparison to the original curve. If I deselect all the um, discontinuities again, if I wanted to I can choose individually which discontinuities I wanted to keep simply by clicking on this icon and then holding down the shift key I can choose maybe just those two points and then repoint maybe to six again so you can see those two points have been held and then we've been repointed the remainder has been repointed to six let's just deselect all those again I can also repoint in between two points. So, for example, if I wanted to just repoint between this point at the top here and this one at the bottom, then I simply click the start point and click the end point, and then that will be repointed to six. Let's make that 12, for example. Let's apply that and close. and finish.